is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. We're in Glasgow at the Emirates Arena for the Box Nation and MTK show. I'm joined by Josh Taylor. How's it going, big man? You're How right? are you, mate? You all right? I know, bad. I don't get bad. to interview you anymore. Your, your mate does it, doesn't he, Andy? Oh, well, Andy, Pops around aye. your house. Andy pops around the house for a wee coffee and that, aye. In the back garden. Definitely. Sits with the palm trees in the back garden. He does, I know. <laughs> Very scenic, that aye. background as well. Um, yeah, so obviously I missed you out in Moscow. I think I arrived on, yeah. I arrived on the day of the fight. Hey, right, Colin. I arrived on the day of the fight. You Aye. left, I think, the night yeah, before. Yeah, I left the night before. The night before I was off to Jake's wedding and got picked up at one o'clock. So I just missed you. But it was some event out there in, in Moscow Aye, the Aye, it was good. It was, it was some atmosphere, like just being over there with all the other fighters as well. You know, in the same room. It was yeah. just, there was a bit of tension there with yeah, all the fighters absolutely. sizing each other up. And, and all that sort of stuff. It was, it was good. I enjoyed it. It was so, good to see all the other fighters and sort of size them up a bit. Yeah, tell me how, obviously, was Ryan Martin picked? Well, what was, I was the second seed. Second Pro seed, Gabe, you were. Pro was the first seed. Um, so I had the second choice of pick, but obviously, Baron Cech and, uh, what's the other one's name? You uh, no. the Baron Cech and Beast for the East. The, oh, fuck, I can't remember his fucking name. Anyway, they two, <laughs> they two are the champions, yeah. and uh, they had the mandatory, so you get another one had, uh, right, okay. had to fight for the belts. So then Progress chose Flanagan, yeah. and then I had no choice really, so yeah, you right, Martin, but I'm not bothered anyway, I'm not bothered anyway, I'm pretty happy with the opponent actually. Yeah, it's kind of set out that the best will fight the best, we've seen it in the tournaments yeah. already, that you know, if whoever kind of progresses through will do the fights that we want to see. They'll say the cream rises to the top, doesn't it, so we'll see. Um, but I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not bothered to a fight. Um, I'm, I'm confident that I'm going to win the, the tournament and anybody who I, I face, I'm going to win. So mm. um, I'm, it doesn't bother me. I, can, I will fight anybody, mm. for anybody. You were already on the sort of cusp of fighting for a world title. So why did you decide to go into this tournament? <coughs> uh, it's a no-brainer, really. Three fights, a chance of two belts, and m maybe even the third belt, the ring magazine, possibly as well. I'm not mm. sure if that's going in for it as well. But... Three fights, three belts, potentially. So it was, it was a no-brainer, really. You know, get two belts, multiple world champion, and, and three belts, and and you know where you're happening. You know when the dates are and all that sort of stuff. So you, you know where you are. The format was good as well, good for my profile and stuff as well. So it, it was a no-brainer, really. Mm. You know, yeah, I mean, for your profile, this <coughs> obviously will take it even, mm. even further because yeah. of. You know, it's obviously being shown in the zone yeah, in America. It's been shown in America as well, so that's another audience that's going to be reaching yeah. out to and, and things like that as well. So, and after the postal fight, after that result, I think the Americans have sort of sat up and taken notice of me a wee bit. And so now they'll be looking out for me in this tournament. So I'm, I'm excited. It's got to be getting look at, looked at in America as well. Does the winner of your fight fight the winner of Pro Grey and Flanagan? Is that right? No, no. I'll, if, if that if it's the fight, that'll be the final. So oh, that's it. I'll, if I'll you be, keep I'll winning, either, if you keep aye, winning, and aye. yeah, because I, I remember talking to Terry Flanagan about this, and he keeps winning. There's a possibility of that. Yeah, that final I'll get the winner at Baron Check and Yeager. Yeah, uh, right, okay. and then in the final, I'll meet either either Flanagan or Progre in the final. That's it. So, aye, feeling good. It's so exciting times. It's the exciting. It's, it's an exciting year ahead. So aye, I can't wait. Can't wait. So Callis Allen today, a little bit coy over the announcement, obviously, which I'm assuming is coming for. Well, when you will have to fight Ryan Martin and where yeah, it will be. Yeah, well, we, we, know, we, we don't know much really, so mm. it's seen the thing on that's getting announced next week, so hopefully hopefully we can get in Scotland and in Glasgow, that would be, that would be brilliant, but we'll just need to wait and see, need mm. wait to see until next week. But we know as well, two of the weight classes will kind of feature on the same nights on some of these shows, mm. so is there the, I don't know, the possibility of some, you know, uh, it, it being doubled up with kind of another Brit or I don't know I don't know how it's going to work I just I'm not really interested in how it's all going to work as long as I know where I'm fighting when I'm fighting and uh, that's what I'm concentrating on so we'll just we'll see what happens next week and I'll just be in the gym working as I'm going to go anyway so it doesn't matter where it is but I'm hoping I would like it to be in Glasgow the first one I would love it to be in Glasgow in front of the Scottish fans I think it would be amazing definitely but like I said to you it doesn't really matter it doesn't really matter no but I would love it to be in Glasgow, you know, the, the, the noise they make at the Hydro, like, you've been at the Ricky Burns fights and things like that, the, the noise that they make and the support he had was unbelievable, so I'm kind of hoping it would be in Glasgow and, and uh, get a, a massive atmosphere there. Mm. Do you think you've kind of the star name in Scot Scottish boxing now? I don't really think about it like that, uh, Coog. I just, I just want to be a world champion and be the best I can be. Alright Baz, how's it going mate, alright? Uh, I, I just want to be a world champion and just be 
be the best I can be, you know what I mean? So I don't I don't think about it that way, being the next star, bit star of Scottish boxing. I just want to be a uh, world champion and, and keep Scotland on the map, you know what I mean? And and be world champion. So that's that's all that's all my agenda is. I don't want to be the Scotland star or Scotland's hero, I just want to be world champ. Okay, fair enough. I mean people kind of rate you as the best at the weight domestically amongst, you know, yeah. the fighters from England, Scotland, wherever. Mm -hmm. So, but, you know, you're obviously not taking any notes of that. It's just, you know, you'll do your thing and if people want to give you props obviously to that. I'm, I'm confident in my own ability and I, I believe in my own skills and my own potential. I do believe I'm the best in the division. I do believe I'm the best domestically. And I do believe I'm going to go on and win this tournament. So, I, I believe in myself 100% and I do believe that I'm the best in the division and I'm going to be world champion. So, that's, that's, the, that's the only thing going on my mind is be world champion. Mm. And to go into this tournament and get a chance at two belts and three fights, Brilliant. Ice on the cake. Okay. What, um, what's your opinion on um, O'Hara Davis and Jack Cattrall? Good fight? Yeah, it's a good fight. I think it's a real 50-50 fight. Um, I think Jack Cattrall might win that. I think he'll just have a wee bit more arsenal in, the, in his punches and you know his punching repertoire and all that sort of shit. I think, uh, I think he's got more ability and boxing brain behind him. Um, but obviously O'Hara's got that equaliser as well with his power, so it's a real, it's a real 50-50 fight. But I think I'll, I'm edge Carroll. I mm. Carroll, I think he'll just be a wee bit too smart for him, and uh, possibly catch him and knock him out. I mean, it was a kind of a no-brainer when uh, Catchell beat McKenna, because they were talking about the sort of winner of that fighting O'Hara, yeah, and then yeah. yeah. So, but it's an interesting fight in Leicester. Yeah, it's an interesting fight, but as I say, I think I think Carroll's, I think Carroll will win that fight. I think he'll knock him out. Okay, and we've got a new improved O'Hara Davis who doesn't trash talk anymore. Nah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how long that lasts. Well, I've got a bet with him anyway. So, uh, <laughs> oh, I've written off. Yeah, I've seen that. You've got the bet uh, on. Yeah, 150 quid. quid. At the 150 minute, I'm losing quid. it, if I'm being honest, but we've still got the best part of, what, six weeks? Nah, or five, six I, weeks? It'll so. come out. It'll come, it'll come out again. Does it take much uh, to, for him to come out? His, his real personality come out. A tit. So, uh, it'll come out, aye. <laughs> All right, well, listen, like I said, we'll look forward to news um, next for when you're fighting. Aye, aye, hopefully next Ryan week, aye. So, aye, um, hopefully it's in Glasgow. So, aye, oh, well, exciting times, can't wait. Okay. Can't wait. Josh, thanks for giving us a little bit of time, and uh, we'll catch up with you soon. Thanks, my Take Cheers. care. Thank you, mate.